All right, she's Detroit Pist Detroit Lions, excuse me, I messed up on this video. She's Detroit Lions uh tank the rest of the way. I believe they got four games left. If I'm not mistaken, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe the channel, <laughs> start playing some of the younger guys. It's okay with Jerry Goff. Jerry Goff they showed to be a guy that you don't mind, you know, playing that quarterback if you are going to tank. All right, check out Detroit Lions talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe the channel. So we play our unofficial division of flow in Arizona Cardinals. We've been playing them the last few years. Played them a lot, all right? And then uh, they come to uh, Detroit. Then we go to Atlanta for the Falcons. Played them last year. I think we might have played Seattle last year, too. I can't remember. But we go to Seattle. Then we end out at the crib. So our last five games is three of them is on the road. Two of them is at home. So like I said, we'll be at Arizona next week. We just was at Denver, so this week we'd be there as only students. So, you know, should they consider tanking and shutting guys like down like Jamal Williams and shutting guys like DeAndre Swift down, you know, and playing Craig Riddle's guy with an Abuchi and playing some of these practice squad players and seeing what they got there. So shutting important veterans down, you know. Taylor Decker need to play high time, you know, the line to play because you got to protect Jared Goff next year just in case you can't find a respectable replacement, right? You know, shutting guys like, you know, Hawkinson, he want to make a run at the Pro Bowl. But, you know, Hawkinson had a hand injury. He been sick. So protecting guys like him and then, you know, thinking about protecting guys like Brockers and probably cutting Brockers snaps and seeing more what you got in Penancy and Nick Williams and seeing what you got next year. But pretty much on defense, you could play all the guys. You know what I'm saying? Walker playing for a contract. You know what I'm saying? You could play the younger guys. So that's the thing about it. So the younger guys – you know, can get a look and you can just start just, you know, tanking and doing what you need to do. But you not only just tank, but you're seeing what you got for the future. You know what I'm saying? Maybe see guys like Khalif Raymond down, you know, let some of these veterans rest and let some of the young guys take over. Now, some position you may not have enough players to do that at. So, you know, maybe cutting some of these veteran snaps now, seeing what you got in the receiver Hodges, then you got a guy Swain or whatever, another guy out there. So, you know, letting Amon Ross say Brown, Amon Brown said whatever, Amon Ross, I don't know what that name. Let him go out there and, uh, and, you know, get some more reps and see what you got because you're going to get some guys back next year, you know. So it's a really young football team. And, you know, people just made this use this year, you know, that, oh, they, they know, look at the roster. But these young guys have been in football. They've been in enough football games to win. You know, that's the issue. People don't know what they're talking about when it comes to football. These guys, you know, when you look at the schedule, they should at least – you know, one, six games, at least for our benefit, they lost every game. So we're not sitting in the middle of the pack. You know, they, you know, they won one game. They might lose the rest of them. But you look at the schedule and you say, man, what games they should have they should have won? The 49er game should have been the game. They should have won going forward and, you know, the touch the pick six before the half or the pick before the half, whatever it was. Baltimore was a game they should have won. Chicago was a game they should have won. Um, <clears throat> you know, Minnesota was a game they should have won. So you're talking about one, two. You got four games they should have won. You know, Cincinnati was a blowout. The Rams game, you could say he could have won either way. Eagles was a blowout. Steelers, it's another game. It's five, you know. Um, the Chicago game on Thanksgiving, that's six. The Cleveland game, that's seven. So this, you know, so they should have had like eight wins. But this roster, this roster is good enough to have been at least a five or, a five or four win team at the, at the least. And at the most, they should have been an eight win team, so almost slightly below 500 so far. That's where they should have been at. But fans just talk about the names on the back of the jerseys, man. The talent is there. Jerry Jacobs is and Bobby Price and AJ Parker are all better than Jeff Okuda. And he was like a top three or top five pick. So, like I said before, you know, what that got to do with it, bro? You know what I'm saying? So they got a lot of talented guys that, you know, <laughs> you know, Craig Reynolds is, is like shit. He like the most talented back on the on this team, damn near. Where is he drafted at? Where you know where Brock Wright was drafted at. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot, a tremendous amount of talent. Ma Ross ain't Brown, third or fourth round, fifth round pick, whatever he was. You know what I'm saying? Look at the receivers. They want Cleef Raymond was a was a gadget kick punt return type of guy. This, and this team, had they had Matthew Stafford, they probably would have won four or five games minimum. So when people say with well, a roster, but you know, that's just a cop out because even one, they didn't watch the game, or two, they can't comprehend what they watch. And several games out of the games that they lost were, you know, the, was the consequence of, of bad coaching. The consequence was bad coaching. So, like I said before, and people just, you know, say, oh, we didn't expect much this year. But look here, they should have won several games, especially your quarterback making 30 plus fucking million dollars a year. 
they should have won several more games than they won. But ultimately, when you had you replace him with Teddy Bridgewater, I mean, had you replaced him, you know, with Jimmy Garoppolo or Ryan Fitzpatrick, this team would have been a five or six win team. Have you kept staff, it would have been a four, five, six, seven, eight win team. And everybody would have been jumping to go next year. They're going to make the playoffs. They had been talking about how Jacobs and, and Parker and Price is the future and how good Swift and Williams and that, the morale would have been up. Everybody would have been talking with a pep on their step. Pep on their step. Everybody would have been happy about their future next year. But the difference in wins and losses is just, uh, 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 how can I say it? Uh, it's rookie coaching and a, a, a failure at quarterback. You know, had they took had they took Bridgewater, they would have ended up with with Justin Fields, Bridgewater, Suell Steele in the third or fourth round pick this last year. They wouldn't have had the future two first round picks, but guess what? Justin Fields probably and Teddy Bridgewater. See, Teddy Bridgewater probably still they probably just be pulling Teddy Bridgewater. They might be fighting, they'd be still in playoff contention. <laughs> it still wasn't until they lost to Denver. So think about that for a minute. That was the in, in, in for the here and now, that was the better deal. Bridgewater Fields, you would have the future there. So you're going to need the, the two first, well, he's one of the first round picks coming. So you look at man, Bridge Swift Fields would have made Williams, Swift, Reynolds, and Ibushi, and Jamar Jefferson that much more explosive. Then you would just been talking about getting the receivers. But now you're talking about the quarterback position was the most important position. Now you're talking about receivers, safety, inside linebackers. You need two of them. You know, you need another pass rusher. You know, but like I said before, people say you should trade a number one. No, you take the best available player unless you get a king's ransom for the number one pick. The only way you get a king's ransom if a quarterback rises up the board. And then again, you need a quarterback. So yeah, continue to tank, do his best, but they've been they've been superstar uh, deprived. And Swell giving you a star to look at. Uh Amar Ross St. Brown giving you the star that that potentially could be there in the slot. TJ Hogson got you a star already. So like I said before, you know, if I be going to this draft and the way the board is right now, I'm probably taking Hutchinson, you know, but we'll see some of these quarterbacks drive and, you know, you're going to see Willis, you know, either rise or fall. You're going to see how he will rise or fall. So here will even rise and fall. But right now, prospect of taking Hutchinson and David Ajabo is just, it's great. Or just taking Hutchinson or just taking the other Ajabo. I mean, it's great right now. You, know, you tank and you do what's best for the team, but, Hudson gave you an impact, impact player right away. He gave you somebody that potential leader, local guy, not a lion fan, obviously, he said, but somebody with a motor, you know, kind of how Vanderbosch changed the culture of that when he came here from Tennessee at the end of his career. But if, you know, the dude, the kid from Liberty, if he rides up the board, you know, he gave you another guy, big arm, you know, athletic from what I've seen, you know. So, like I said, you know, this board is going to change. Most definitely. Who knows? What if Bryce, you know, the dude from uh, the one to five, and what if he go to go to court and say he want to go into the draft? They grant him that. It's rare. It's rare to see, but maybe. So we'll see, man. But um, yeah. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Should they tank the rest of the way and play some younger guys? Um, he golf in there. He good quick tank quarterback. Or shouldn't it? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Check the Trey Lifestyle playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. All my social media links, subscription, Twitter, the fast one, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to reach out, if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, links there. We're going to make a financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. All that's in the description and we're on the bottom of your screen. Best way to donate. Comment, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button, the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Uh, increase your chance, get notifications, go live, drop a video. Check the Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.